so hi guys in this particular training i'll be teaching you how you can draw a cartoon and you know before you do anything animation you have to make the cartoon first so i'll be teaching you how you can make this how you can draw this type of cartoon or make it to look more better than this you understand so let's get started without wasting much of our time so that you see how we can get this done it is very very simple and easy so let me cancel this you might be doing a different something from this but all of them are still gonna take the same process so first of all let me cancel this then let's um create a page in which we'll be designing on so I press Ctrl N, I'll go to my file and new. Then let me use let me use uh, five by okay five by seven inches resolution three hundred is okay. So let me use this. I'll be using this page in this particular drawing. So remember anything you, you are going to do. Try and create a separate layer for it so that it will be easier for you to move each of the parts. So now what we are gonna do here is we click on first of all I'll go by creating the head. So I use this polygonal to this rectangle elliptical mark you to sorry elliptical mark you to then I make a circular shape. When I make when I, if I make a circular shape like this, then I create a layer. If I create a layer, I call it. Once I create a layer, I will rename it and call it head. Then I'll call it head. Then it's now time for me to add up a color. So remember, I can for me to add up a color, I can add choose the color here you understand you choose the color i want here then go to use this bucket paint to add or i can also use what we call solid color so this is our solid color i click here choose the type of color i want to be the color of the head of the cartoon so i guess this color is should be okay for me you understand so now the next thing I'm going to do is this is where the function of the pencil comes in. You understand? So the next thing I'm going to do is to create the hair, the hair of the cartoon. So what I'm going to do now is I come here, I click, I click, then I come here. Let's make sure it goes in the shape of a hair. And it's like this will be a male cartoon. Then I click here again. I start creating. I can make it like this. We are just doing this for a practical purpose. So when you be doing your own, make it to look more beautiful than mine. You know what you want to create so as for me this is exactly what I want to create but if you are doing your own some of you are more creative than me some of you are blessed with the gift of creativity so as I have this thing here I would like to call this thing the hay you understand I would like to call it the hay so what I'm gonna do now is and you know hay is always a black color so what I'm gonna do is I create a solid color here that's even creating empty like create a solid color then i'll add it up a black color yeah this black color is okay so i press enter for me to remove the line so the next thing i'm going to do now is since i have this in this form i'm going to add the nose i know cartoon nose is not always like human being nose their nose is always slim so I do like this. 
I do like this. Remember, I've taught you how to make use of pencil, so don't expect me to start saying everything here. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is this particular time now I don't have to use solid color to to fill up the color. So what I'm gonna do is I, I will create a stroke because I want the line of the nose to go straight. So I go to so as it is now I create an empty layer. And I go to stroke, stroke path, stroke path. Then I, sorry, I go to stroke, stroke path. So I, I guess I'll be adding black color because I want the stroke to be black. So I go to stroke path. This black is okay for me. So I click OK. If I want, I'll come here and rename this here. If I want, I'll come here and rename this nose. Nose. Then the next thing I'm going to do now is to come and create the mouth. So creating the mouth will be as simple as anything I want to do so this time around I just have to fill up this mouth with black color too so I go to solid color I add a black color so I zoom in then use my I can still use this circular to to create a tiny circle Ah, God. What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? So this time around, I have to click here and delete. As you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is to put the eyes. So this is where the function of pen to come in again. So I select my pen to or press P. And I come here and mark out I come here mark out I then this time around I'll have to I'll have to add something like white color Solid color, I add solid color, I add black, okay. Then I have to duplicate here. Then click on this, click on this line so that this thing can show this wrap. Then I right click and click free horizontal. Then I'll position the eye as I want. The next thing I'm gonna do is to add the white eyes. So I click here, I select, and I have to choose this icon here the, so that I can make two selections at a go. That is the plus sign. So I make another selection. If I don't choose that icon, if I make another selection, this one will go. So I click here and add up a white color, white color this time around. So as you can see, our katuna has white color. So I guess the head is bent. So I will have to rotate the head very well. But it can be straight. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to create the neck. So I'll be creating the neck with this rectangular mark it too. So I do something of this nature. I do something of this nature. Then, once I do something of this nature, I will come here. Okay. I will create a solid color too. I will create a solid color. For this time around, I will be making use of a darker surface of this color. I make it like this. as you can see you can see the neck is on top of this so I have to drag it down so it to go behind 
this is the head so that the neck will go behind the neck as you can see the neck has entered so the next thing i'm going to be doing now the next thing i'm going to do now is wait the next thing i'm going to do now is i'll push here i will have to be creating the the clothes you understand so i have to be creating the clothes so i can come here and do something of this nature now what i'll position it then i'll create a solid color of blue blue solid color blue solid color so the next thing i'm gonna do now is i'll come this side i hope you saw what i did let me go back i have to click on this line so that this wrap color will come so is it that i click on this wrap wrap icon will show is it that i click on that wrap icon or i right click and click on wrap yeah, and I cannot bend from this point. I cannot bend in from this other point. I cannot bend in from this point two. I cannot bend in from this point two. I can bend in. So I will now have to mark OK. So this time around. I'll have to create a line here. I'll use this rectangular marker to, to create a line here. So once I create a line here, I'll add a solid color, a white solid color. Let it be in this way first. The next thing I'm going to do is I would like to put the hand So look, at, I will use this polygonal lesser to, to put the hand So the hand will be very very simple So I just have to click here Click here Then click here And come back and click And click click again then join the two so since i've gotten something like this the next thing i'm gonna do is i will add a solid color then i'll choose this color you understand so i'll have this the hand let me rename it hand So what I'm gonna do now is I'll drag it down so that it will go at the back of the head. So that this hand can go at the back of the head. So I'll still have to drag it under the hand. So as you can see, this hand has gone beyond the back. So I'll have to duplicate it by pressing Ctrl the hand by pressing Ctrl G. As you can see, it's not two hand and hand copy. So I have to pick one. Come this way then i will now hold this button here okay i will now cl click here right click again then click on flip vertical then i will now click on flip horizontal So this is how I want the hand to be for now. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to create the trouser. So without wasting much of our time, I'll just come here to create the trouser. It's very, very simple. I'll just come here and create a rectangular shape and drag down as I want the length of the trouser to be. So dragging down like this. 
it's very very simple so what i'm gonna do is let me let me create this shape here so i'll add up i want it to wear black trousers so i want i'll add up a solid color again make it black so what i'm gonna do here is i'll use this polygonal lesser to click here click here i want to divide this trial click here click here click here click click again and what i'm gonna do now is i'll delete press delete i'll click in this box and click delete as you can see i've deleted it so we now have this so as you can see the trouser and the shirt is not rhyming so what i'm gonna do is that i'll create a belt i can use pencil to create a belt Then uh, I can use this in the belt. I can make it. Um, let me see which color will I add. Let me use solid color and check the color that will fit. Let me use lighter black. So, but I'll have to raise it up so that. Control uh, press enter. So this time around, I'll have to increase the size of the belt. Just look at what I'm doing. I'm trying to wrap the edges. So I click OK this layer too. I'll have to drag it up so I will add something apply I'll add something like in a four corner form here I'll stroke let me create an empty layer I'll stroke let me make it white yeah, so let me say this is the best Then I'll have to shift it so that it can align with the button. So as it is now, the next thing you are going to be doing here is to add the shoe. The shoe. Let me use pencil to draw the shoe. So I will use. What am I even doing, self? Then I'll create a solid color. I'll make it black. And I press enter. I will duplicate it. Then flip horizontal. Then I'll create the legs to join with the 
शू Then once I've done something like this, then I'll come down here and create a solid color. So as you can see, we have almost arrived in what, what we wanted to do. So the next thing and you can make this cartoon to work you can turn it to animation and make it to work and even talk but that will be a separate class i'll be teaching you how to make animation how to turn this type of cartoon to animation if i want to add up the button i can use this circle to add I can make it like this make it like this draw another one draw another one draw another one draw another one then the next thing i'm gonna do is um i have to create empty layer this time around and I'll use this and add up. And I have to bring it up so that. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, I succeeded in drawing this cartoon. You understand? So this is how you can make any type of cartoon that you want to create. Any type of cartoon that you want to draw is quite easy and simple. So maybe I'll prepare a class on how we can turn this cartoon to animation, how we can make it move. It's very, very, very simple. You understand? And the easiest, the, the main news about it is that you can do it all in Photoshop. As you can see, you can make this cartoon to move. You understand? But I will show you how you can turn video animation. You understand? So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next class. Thanks.